Arunachal Pradesh, meaning the land of the raising sun, long has been the recognized region of the Indian subcontinent, receiving mention in such ancient Hindu literature as Kalika Purana and the epic Ramayana and Mahabharata. Geographically, it is the largest state of the seven sister states that is among Assam, Meghalaya, Manipur, Mizoram, Nagaland and Tripura. It is covered mostly in forest and greenery. Dola Sadia Bridge, which connects Assam and Arunachal Pradesh, is the longest bridge in India with a total length of 9.5 kilometers. Now let's discuss about this amazing state of Arunachal Pradesh based on its cuisines, geography, the people who are living, languages spoken, transport facilities available, best places to visit and many more things about it. So are you all ready? Let's start. First, let's start with cuisines. The type of dishes of the Indian state of Arunachal Pradesh vary within the region. According to the tribal influence, the staple food is rice along with fish, meat and many green vegetables, which is called as laktar. Different varieties of rice are available. Lettuce is the most common and preferred vegetable of all. It is generally prepared by boiling it with ginger, coriander and green chilies and pinch of salt. Boiled rice cakes wrapped in leaves is a famous snack. Dishes in eastern districts like Tirap and Changlang have some different method in their way of food preparation. Now let's see about the geographical features of Arunachal Pradesh. Arunachal Pradesh is located in the northeast India, bordering Bhutan, Tibet and Myanmar internationally. The border with Bhutan is 160 km, the China border is 1080 km and the Myanmar border is 440 km. The internal borders include the assam Arunachal border about 804.1 km while the Nagaland border is 55 km. Arunachal Pradesh became a state on 20th February 1987. The highest peak in the state is Kanto at 7060 meters or 7.06 kilometers. The state's mountain ranges in the extreme east of India are described as the place where the sun rises. In historical Indian texts are named the Aruna Mountains, which inspired the name of the state. The villages of Dong and Vijayanagar received the first sunlight in all of India. Arunachal Pradesh comprises of two divisions namely East and West, each headed by a divisional commissioner and 25 districts. Itanagar in the southwest of Arunachal Pradesh is the state's largest town and the capital of Arunachal Pradesh. That's all about the geographical features of Arunachal Pradesh. Now let's discuss about the climatic conditions in Arunachal Pradesh. The most prevalent climate types in the state are humid subtropical climate and monsoon influenced humid subtropical climate. Other climates include subtropical highland climate, monsoon influenced warm summer, humid continental climate and monsoon influenced subarctic climate. The regions in the lower belt of the state experience hot and humid climates with the maximum temperature in the foothills reaching up to 40 degrees Celsius. The average temperature in this region in winter region winter ranges from 15 degrees Celsius to 21 degrees Celsius while that during the monsoon season remains between 22 to 30 degrees Celsius. Arunachal Pradesh experiences heavy rainfall during May to September. The average rainfall recorded in Arunachal Pradesh is 300 cm, varying between 80 cm and 450 cm. Arunachal Pradesh has among the highest diversity of mammals and birds in India. There are around 750 species of birds and more than 200 species of mammals in the state. The major animal species are tiger, leopard, snow leopard, Asian elephant, samba deer, chital deer, barking deer, sloth bear, gaur, dole, jane squirrel, marbled cat, leopard cat, new jane flying squirrels. In the year 2000, Arunachal Pradesh was covered with 63,093 km square of tree cover, that is about 77% of its total land area. It harbors over 5,000 plants, about 85 terrestrial mammals, over 500 birds and many butterflies, insects and reptiles. 
Arunachal Pradesh is also ideal for horticulture and fruit orchards. Its major industries are rice mills, fruit preservation and processing units, and handloom handicrafts. Apart from them, the forests of Arunachal Pradesh are also home to a large number of people belonging to the different tribes. Now let's discuss about the people who are living in the state of Arunachal Pradesh. As of 2011, Consensus of India, Arunachal Pradesh has a population of 13,82,611 and an area of 83,743 square kilometers. Arunachal Pradesh is a diverse state. It predominantly has Mampa people in the west, Tani people in the center, Thai people in the east and Naga people in the south of the state. About 45 tribes or sub-tribes live in the state. The main tribe of the state is Adi, Naishi, Dalo, Tagin, Apatani and so forth. A natural Pradesh can be roughly divided into a set of semi-distinct cultural spheres on the basis of the tribal identity, language, region and the material culture. The Tibetic speaking Mompa area bordering Bhutan in the west, the Thai area bordering Myanmar and the Naga area to the south, which also borders Myanmar. In Arunachal Pradesh, there are about 26 tribes and more than 100 sub-tribes. Now let's discuss about the languages spoken in the state of Arunachal Pradesh. The number and the diversity of languages spoken in Arunachal Pradesh are not conclusively known. Even though English is the official language of the state, it is Hindi that is connecting and communicating language of the state. Hindi and English are the main languages in Arunachal Pradesh apart from Sanskrit, which was kept optional. The main languages spoken in Arunachal Pradesh are Naishi about 20%, Adi about 17%, Nepali about 6%, Tangin about 4%, Wotia about 4% and Vansho about 4% and other languages such as Assami, Bengali, Hindi, Sanskrit are spoken in the state of Anachal Pradesh. Now let's discuss about the events or festivals that take place in Anachal Pradesh. Anachal Pradesh is a state of distinct culture and is amongst the most gorgeous places in India. There are a plethora of tribes that inhabit the state, making it quite colorful with its diverse culture and traditions. One can rightly call Anachal Pradesh one of the best places for cultural holidays in India. The first festival is Sayang River Festival. It is also called as Myongmo River Festival. It is held to celebrate the communal harmony in Anachal Pradesh. It is one of the most popular festivals in Anachal Pradesh and is an attempt to promote ecotourism and offer a lot of adventure fun activities like elephant race, traditional boat race, river rafting, food festivals, folk dances and an extra. Zero Music Festival Zero Music Festival is a four-day festival where the music lovers enjoy the performances of international and domestic music artists. People make merry and spend four unforgettable days at the Zero Festival of Music. Nyokum is a festival of Nishi tribe and is celebrated for the harmony and the prosperity of the people. It is a two-day festival in which the Nishi tribe enjoys singing, dancing and gathering up. Men and women hold hands and form a circle to perform a traditional dance. Now let's discuss about the best places to visit in Arunachal Pradesh. Tawang, Itanagar, Sela Pass, Mayodhya Pass, Bomdila Monastery, Tawang Buddhist Monastery, Yashwantgar, Gompa, the Golden Pagoda. Now here we come to the end. This was all about the documentary on the Indian state of Arunachal Pradesh. I think now you got to know about the people who are living, the culture, the tradition of the people, the geography, the festivals, the events that take place in the state of Arunachal Pradesh and the best places to visit. I think now it will be a best tourist spot and everyone will enjoy visiting the state of Arunachal Pradesh. Right? Thank you everyone for watching the video till the end.